In this video, we're gonna show you how to host a website on your Raspberry Pi. You're not gonna need any sort of uh, new account or subscription service. In fact, we can complete this in one line of code using sudo app get nginx install. Yes, we're gonna be using open source software nginx. That is my favorite server software. Super accessible, super easy, and we'll show you how to stand up your own website. Let's get started. Okay, so on the right here, I am SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. And on the left here, I have a remote desktop view of my Raspberry Pi. We're gonna download the Nginx package. So I'm gonna do sudo su dash. This is gonna make me root for all my subsequent commands. I'm gonna do apt, apt get update. This is just gonna make sure all the um, packages are updated. In this case, the Nginx package. So we're gonna do apt get install nginx. We're gonna select yes. And so this downloads the nginx software, but it's also gonna stand up a website immediately. And again, on my right here, I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi from my laptop, which is on the same network. And on the left, I am remote desktoped into the Raspberry Pi. So if I do curl localhost, this is the website that Nginx just stood up. And if I want to pull it up in a browser, I will open my browser in VNC, and I can go to localhost, and that is the same website. See, welcome to Nginx, welcome to Nginx. Um, Another version of this is 127.0.0.1, which is the same as localhost. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so we can get it out to a wider audience. Thank you. Okay, so the website um, responds to localhost on the Raspberry Pi, but say we opened a, a terminal on my laptop and we did curl localhost, um, there's nothing there. Localhost is specific to a device. Um, but there is a public IP address for every device. And if we ping the public IP address of our Raspberry Pi, it will proxy it to localhost. So let's go ahead and do that. So, okay, so to get the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, we're gonna do dig and then we're gonna pass the host name. So I'm gonna do um, YouTube video. I, I changed the host name to YouTube video. Um, okay, so this is the A record it points to. So that's the IP address of our Raspberry Pi on our local network. So I think actually if I curl this IP address, yeah, it returns localhost for that device. So it's returning our Nginx website, which also means we could come over to a browser, go to the IP address, and it will proxy it to localhost. That's just how proxying usually works. Um, you hit the IP address of the virtual machine or the server and it proxies to localhost. Um, there's, other, there's other ways to do routing, but that's, that's usually the initial setup. And so now we have a website hosted on our Raspberry Pi available on our local network. Um, and then let's just change some of the HTML so I can show you how to modify this. So uh, let's go back to the shell that's in the, um, the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna go to root directory and then if we go to var, and then dub, 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 and then HTML, this is where the HTML is stored. So one thing we can do is we can edit the index file. Uh, apparently I don't have vim, so I'm gonna do app get install vim. Vim is a text editor, my preference. All right, so I'm downloading vim, and then I'm gonna use vim to edit the index.html file. Oops. There we go. Okay, so um, so we can kill this, and then we can add in, um, I don't know, h1. This is a YouTube tutorial. Close h1. And then even if we wanna get fancy, very fancy, we can throw a script in here and we can do alert, test. So now we're running HTML and we're running JavaScript. So let's go ahead and refresh our page. There's our alert, there's our new H1. So 
uh, that's how you host a website. So you have the root directory there. You can, you know, FTP your entire website into that root directory or um, organize the files in any way you see fit. If you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging texts such as IoT, Google Cloud Platform, then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you stay in the loop as we publish new content. Thanks.